Oh, hi everybody here, here back at you with another video. So I have a bit of a surprise. Um, no idea why I was sent this um, or what's going on. Um, I did not sign up for this box, but um, the, the only thing I can guess is um, I've seen some other people that have had Funko crates. Um, and I am subscribed to the Marvel Collector Corpse, which is also um, one of their crates. Um, so, and I, they said that apparently um, they're just sending every subscriber who I guess has been there, been subscribed for a while, a free box. So I'm guessing this is what that is. Um, but either way, it's awesome. Um, I wanted to get this, but I ended up going with the uh, Marvel crate instead, just because I liked as a pick and choose. Um, but I love Star Wars, um, so I believe I already um, did this. Make it easy. But uh, there's Jabba the Hutt right on the um, box right there. How awesome is that? Um, so this is the Smuggler's Bounty from Star Wars. Um, I'll probably put pricing info on the bottom of this one um, since I've never had this one before. Um, it should be, I believe the pricing is pretty much exactly the same as um, what I pay for my Marvel Collector Corpse. Um, and again, it is every two months that this box is shipped out. Um, I did not actually order this one or pay for this, um, so this is, I guess, just a free giveaway thing. But you open up, and just like the Marble Collector Corpse, you get a patch and a pin right over the top. What does it say? Behold your share of Smuggler's Bounty. And I have my cat now outside. So here is the patch. It says Java's Palace. Well, I have no idea what character this is. So, it kind of looks like maybe like a security guard or something. No idea who that is. Um, that's kind of it. And then, Star Wars, I'm going to get this other character. I don't know who it is. Some, one of the creature kind of characters. That I don't recognize. But that's cool. Let me open it up. And show you what's in the box. The glare. So on the top we have the card, so I'm not gonna read that yet. Spoiler card. So in here we have a hat. So I'll pull that up first. Um, again, I'm not really big on the ball cap kind of hats. Um, although I like for display. Um, just because they look weird on me, I think. I don't know. Do you think I look weird on with this on? Do I look cool? I don't know. I think I look weird. That's all I have. But it has C3PO right there on it. And it says programmed for etiquette. So and then it's a popped pop hat. Um, back it has. So that's a pretty cool hat. Um, again, I don't usually wear these kind of hats, but it's still a cool hat. Regardless of that, up next in here we have a Jabba the Hutt pop ceramic mug. Um, so maybe I like this one. I don't like all the pop ceramic mugs. There are certain characters I feel like weird. Um, I liked the whatever it was that I got last time. Uh, one of the last ones I got, I did actually like. So let's see if I like this one. Either way, I, mean, I drink coffee and tea all the freaking time, so. Oh, I actually really like that. That is actually cool. So he actually does pretty good in the mug form. Oh, his big tongue. It's like, oh. So, that is cool. Um, the painting on this is relatively de decent. Um, the tongue, um, it's a little bit outside the lines. Um, but again, it's... With ceramic um, stuff, glazing is difficult, so I do understand um, the difficulty in painting it and making sure it doesn't run um, before you glaze it. Um, it takes practice. So, I'm sure that, I don't know, oh, I doubt these are like, are they hand, I don't know if they're hand painted, I kind of doubt it, um, but they're like hand done, it's probably like machine that does it. And then we have, oh, I see Boba Fett. That is a Star Wars plush. 
a bow fit. He's kind of cute. I like that. I still always thought it was weird that uh, our first introduction to Boba Fett was from the Star Wars Christmas special. And he was the best part of that. I actually thought it was kick ass. He was kick ass in that. Like, um, the. But uh, the movie sucked, but he was in, like, the animated section, which actually wasn't that bad. Like, that little animated part wasn't as super bad. And he was riding this, like, giant water creature thing um, that, like, ate, ate metal or something, I think. I can't remember, but I remember that we were introduced to him from that. So, workplace to introduce him. He had more lines in that, I'm sure, too. But, uh, yeah. So, and then say. Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. I'm sure all of these are exclusive. Just like with the, um, my actually yet, the Marvel crate. And last in here we have a Star Wars pop. And it is a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive R2-D2 Java Skiff. Star Wars 1 2 1. So that is cool. And then they also have in the series. Luke Skywalker, Han, at at driver, Luke Skywalker, two different ones, Breeze, Kit Fisso, Cocoon, and Blue Senate Guard. Um, so I got RTD2. I'm sure everyone got RTD2. Um, but that's really cool. I like that. So that is it that is in this box. Um, I really like the items in this box. That was really cool. Um, so, I don't know if everybody who is subscribed to, let me get another one, come on. Um, I don't know if everybody who is subscribed to one of their boxes is getting this. Hopefully they are, um, from what I've read in comics, comments and stuff from other people's, um, cause a couple other people I've seen, um, have actually gotten boxes that they didn't order. So I'm guessing that's what, that's what they're doing. But it's really cool, um, especially since I got one that I'm not actually subscribed to, um, because it gives me a chance to see what is in the box. So for future, if I can subscribe to that box, this is a totally cool box in my opinion. Um, and this this like totally is awesome way to like introduce me to the box. Um, so who doesn't love free goodies? Um, so. And it says uh, Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. Death Star. Um, the only official Star Wars subscription box, 100% exclusive. You won't go take a look at our previous boxes. And that tells me what is in the crate. This was Jabba's Palace, I guess. It's the theme for this one. Um, the Rancor in Jabba's Palace. Oh, so that's the Rancor? Is that what it is? It's supposed to be the Rancor? It does not look like the Rancor to me. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's so cartoony. Oh, okay. So it, it ate a Gormoranian, which is, I guess, what this guy is. Okay, because I was like, that's not the Rancor. Um, so the concept. It would be cool if they had the Rancor, though, at the time. Jabba's Palace is a dangerous place, partially because you never know who might drop by. At first glance, this appears to be a bounty hunter, be the bounty hunter Boshin, even though it's actually Princess Leia on a rescue mission. Okay, okay. I remember that now. So yeah, that's what she was wearing to covertly enter to, uh, to try and rescue Han. Um, and then the R2-D2 pop features a new droid design that will be used for any future R2-D2 pops. Just some bird here. Um, Jabba the Hutt was originally represented by a human man in a fur coat for the character was done as a giant slug-like creature. The puppet used in the films cost 500000 and was controlled by at least five puppeteers. Um, 
I actually thought it was funny watching the video of the early um, Jabba's, um, the different versions of him. I um, mean, also, especially the actor who played him, because it was a little interesting. Um, especially because when he walks around, when Han walks around Jabba, um, it's like a clear path because he's human. But when they digitally put, when they put in um, the actual Jabba, um, they had to make him step over the tail, so that's why they have like jump up, like kind of jerk, because it would make no sense to have him like walk around, and when you're like drop actually the tail that he would have been stepping on. So that was a cool little thing that they like added, because they recognized that like oh we filmed it with him walking around a human, without an obstacle. So interesting fact. So plush is a brand new line from Funko and blah blah. Fett is the first one to be released to customers. So that's cool, the first one. Pop Tops are also a new line from Funko. This is the first Star Wars Pop Top ever made. So that's cool, I like that. Um, so again, this was a really cool box. Um, I love my Marvel Collector Crate. Um, so right now I'm still sticking with that one. Oh, I can't afford both of them. Um, but. If I could, I would, I would, I would have had this one. Do this one too, because I do love Star Wars. But um, this was a cool introduction to the block, um, to their to their box. I mean, um, so this was totally awesome. Um, and from what I've seen, this box does put out. I mean, most pretty much all Funko's boxes they put out awesome stuff. Um, you always get exclusives. Um, you know what you're getting, so it does kind of get a little predictable, um, in a sense, because you do know you're, what you're getting. Um, but I kind of like that, because I know that what I'm getting is something that I'm going to like. I know that there's not going to be filler, that I'm going to be like, oh crap, I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to ever use, I'm not going to enjoy. Um, so that was cool. Um, so... But they put out great boxes, so um, I like I liked this, and that was really cool of them to send this out to me. Thank you, Funko. That was awesome. I enjoyed this box, and I would recommend it for people. So I'll probably put pricing info down below. Um, put a link to their website, um, just because if you like Star Wars, then uh, this box is for you. Um, again, Funko puts out awesome boxes, so, um, again, the only issue is just if you, um, are someone who doesn't always want to know what you're getting, um, it might not be for you, but for me, I kind of like that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, this was awesome box. Again, thank you Funko, and peace out.